Hi guys, it's Jules and I am super, super sick today, so don't don't judge my voice. I know my accent is weird anyway, but don't judge my voice as well today. Um I have like a really bad head cold, um but I'm still gonna record <laughs> I'm still I'm still recording voiceover because I can still talk. I might have to do some cuts here and there for like you know, like to breathe, um, because I'm currently breathing through my mouth, super gross and so, so TMI, but you know, it's fine. So th this house is like split level family home. Um, Kate Emerald, I believe her name is, yes it is. I made notes because I knew I'd forget things like I did last time and many other times I've done this. She did a video, which I will link down below if I remember. I'm so sorry if I don't. If not, I'll put like, I'll put like a little like uh, link on the actual video to go watch it. It's awesome. It's so cool. So you can actually make it's a connecting rooms with different foundation heights. So you can make connecting rooms like split level houses, like proper split level houses in The Sims now, which is super exciting. I'm just saying, like I love split level houses, so I'm like yes. This is my life now. <laughs> like, I'm obsessed. But, but, it's great, but my game did not like. It, it really didn't like it. So, it's totally up to you if you want to try it. Definitely give it a go, to be honest. It's not that difficult to do. I was just faffing a lot with how I wanted the build to go. And I cut a lot of stuff out as well, because legitimately it was just... It was okay, but the, oh, the roofing is evil, and if you touch anything inside, it just goes away, and it just glitched for some reason. I don't think it's supposed to do that. I think it just wanted to with me. Um, but it shouldn't have a, you shouldn't have a problem with it in your game. It just decided it wanted to corrupt my save file, which I found out when I tried to make a new save file, and it wouldn't let me make a new save file, and it kept on booting me back into Newcrest, and I'm like, what are you doing? So I've just done some stairs, which you can see, and the roof is gone now because I touched the foundations. So I learned the hard way <laughs> not to do that. It was just that back kitchen area. It did not, it really did not want to play. It did not like me at all. Um, it just, it refused, basically. It was infuriatingly annoying, but you know, whatever. I've finished it. It looks pretty. I'm happy. <laughs> Um, it's, it, I'll actually tell you information about the build, I'm sorry. I get carried away, as always. Um, so it's 121,781 simoleons. It is built in Newcrest, as I mentioned. And it's on a 30 by 20 lot. It's three bedrooms and two bathrooms. If I'm, like, massively mouth-breathing today, I'm so sorry. If I don't cut this out, I'm really sorry. Just FYI, because honest to God... It's hard to breathe when you have a cold, okay? Be kind to me. Be, be, be nice, all right? Um, but yeah, so I took inspiration from Kate uh, Emerald and did this kind of build. And it was super fun and super fresh. And yeah, and I liked it, basically. I, I had a really good time building it um, after the roofs were sorted. Beforehand, it just it really just didn't want to play. It just did not like me at all. But I literally, to be honest, I would read you the packs, but it's kind of, it's easier just to put them on screen, to be honest with you, to be un utterly blunt. It's easier just to pop them on screen and then you're like, oh, okay, that's why she didn't say how many there is. Because it's basically everything apart from like vampires and maybe something else and my first pet stuff because I don't own that pack and I've vocally said that I will never buy that pack. Even on sale, I refuse. But yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff that I've bypassed in the build quite a lot. I've sped it up because I can't talk properly today. I'm sorry. It's not going well for me. All right. I've just like had a load of crap at work. And yeah, it's just been, it's a lot today. It's been a lot today. Um, if you're on my Discord, you'll have seen why. Uh, you'll know exactly what day this is when I'm recording this. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been a lot. And I'm sick and it's just a bit too much and I had to cancel stream because I'm sick and now I'm going to do videos for YouTube and it's like, what am I doing with my life? Like, just go to bed, girl. Which I will be soon because I really need to catch up with the good players. Uh, me and my boyfriend have just started watching it. My boyfriend and I decided not to carry on watching it together because he decided to speed past me. 
And we also have other shows like Arrested Development and stuff like that that we're watching together, which he's never seen, by the way, which hurts me inside internally. Because literally Arrested Development is genuinely one of my favourite TV TV shows ever. It is amazing. Um, If you haven't seen it, please do. It's so good. Really funny. (laughs) Um, But yeah, so... He, we decided not to watch it together and then he sped past me and watched the entirety of it which is like it's halfway through its third season and I'm like lagging behind on the second season so I'm like mm, I need to watch this now but you know gotta love some TV chill time uh, which I do a little bit too much I think uh, on Netflix but that's fine um, it's all good but I really I, I like the uh, interior of this build quite a lot actually it's uh, it's quite, I would say like it's it's quite homey. Um, uh, I, I just think it's pretty. I want to say um and ah uh, and like it's very you know like straightforward. I keep on saying straightforward in my builds, but it is. It's not like. I hope I edited that sniff out. I'm so sorry. I'm literally just sniffling here, and I'm like literally full of cold. It's so gross. Uh, But yeah, it's just very regular, I guess. Very family-orientated, very run-of-the-mill. There's nothing really super, like, groundbreaking about the interior. The one thing I really like is the kitchen, though. The kitchen is, like, my favourite room because it's finally split-level. I love split-level, like I said earlier. Um, The kitchen is now split-level, so it kind of reminds me of what my dream home would be. And the study is pretty nice too. It's a really odd shape, but I didn't know what else to put there. I kind of need to work on my floor plans a bit better because I've noticed that a lot of the time when I'm building, there's a lot of spaces in the build and it's kind of, you know, it's it's okay, but th- there's too many spaces and it doesn't make me happy inside and it frustrates me and... I need to look at, like, I think over the holiday period, I'm going to have a look at uh, floor plans and things like that and kind of learn where to put things. Um, and yeah, I did this completely off stream as well. I, I've been doing this thing because I have zero time on a night. So whenever I stream, I tend to stream Sims and I'll do like a mixture when I come back in January for streaming. But um, I, whenever I do my Sim streams, I've been doing house building because then I can record it for YouTube because I'm... I need to prioritise my time because I have like zero time because I work an hour and a half away from where I live. (laughs) So it's like literally hell. Uh, It's three hours of my day wasted basically. Also side note, only bad thing about split level houses is when you do screenshots or where you're like, when you're, you can see the like difference in height of the foundation and it kind of screws like with the illusion a bit. You have to kind of pull like the camera really far down, otherwise there is no ceiling there and it kind of sucks. But other than that, it's fine. I hope they eventually will actually let us do this properly instead of us having to do like fixes and things like that, but it's fine. Sorry, just had to blow my nose. <laughs> um, yeah, fun times. Fun times over here for me. Um, so yeah, I... I really enjoyed doing the kitchen I really like the color scheme of the kitchen it kind of blends well all the way through with the blues and kind of creams and chilled out colors and I love that brick wall so much honestly that is genuinely one of my favorite wallpapers in the entire game and it's base game I think it's amazing it is base game right oh it's either base game or dine out (laughs) and I also use it in the garage which coincidentally is my other favorite room because I went crazy um, I use a lot of, I think I use debug, I'm pretty sure the majority of the random packs are in here as well. I just love doing like rooms like this, like uh, sheds and garages and things like that. It's just super fun because the thing is with garages, like everyone has a garage like this. I'm sorry. If you don't, I'm confused. Um, like everyone has garages where it's just filled with crap. <laughs> And they haven't went through it in, like, years, but, you know, like, I don't know, you've got loads of storage boxes and stuff like that in there, and there's, like, loads of random stuff that you really should throw out, but you don't want to, and, yeah, you just kind of go through everything, and it's kind of like, well, 
it's just here now. It just lives here forever. So I put like some like uh, stuff from. Oh, what's the pack called? I can never remember the pack. Let's look at my list of packs. Uh, it would be none of these. <laughs> Where are you? Honestly, the list is ridiculous. It's uh, outdoor retreat. That's it. That's the word that I was looking for. Outdoor retreat. Yeah, so it's from there, and there's quite a lot of stuff in there, uh, in here from there, like the storage units and stuff. Because, you know, camping and things like that, like, people do that and keep them in the garage. It's just, yeah, it's been, I really enjoy doing the garage a lot, and it is actually a, a garage, a real garage. It's got, like, an easel and stuff like that in there, so you can actually use it if you want to, and, like, it's not just an empty room. It's more decorative than actual usability, really, but it's fine. Um, this bedroom is also kind of strangely shaped, and but it's, well, it's not really strangely shaped, it's just simple, which is fine. I don't really have a big problem with that. I like calm rooms like this that are just kind of relaxed and, you know, it's, it's all good, really. Also, if you do download this, right, please place it with Move Objects On. If you don't, it will ruin things. <laughs> It will move things around, it will delete things straight up as well, so just FYI, please do that. I'm just going through my notes, because I make notes for each video because I forget things. And, like, genuinely, I'm the most forgetful person ever. If you've ever met me or know me, like, properly, I genuinely forget way too much stuff that I really, really shouldn't, to be honest. Ironically, this, I filmed when I was off work with tonsillitis, and now, like... I think I filmed it two weeks ago. Ironically, two weeks later, I have a cold, which is also ruining my tonsils. So, yay! Well done, Jules. Well done for me. Um, yeah, it, I mean, this is like a preteen bedroom. It's... I think it's pretty cute. It's like pink and white, and like there's some gold accents, and she's got like, you know, those boy bands that all the preteens like, and also like adults and older teenagers secretly like, but they won't admit to liking them and things like that. Kind of like how I felt One Direction was for me, but I non-ironically do actually like One Direction, so fight me. I don't care. <laughs> I do like them. I haven't listened to them in a very long time though, but I don't mind their music to be honest. I am more of a rock alternative person, but I like One Direction and I will, I will say that non-ironically. I will admit that because I can. <laughs> And um, there's a lot of like shrinking things down as well, so I'm not sure whether it's technically usable. It should be usable, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. It looks pretty, you know, it's it's fine. Um, and yeah, some debug stuff, so it might not work <laughs> when you actually install it uh, or pop it in to uh, your world, but it's fine. I mean, it looks pretty for the screenshots. If you wanted to, you could do some woodworking and learn how to do it, so it's fine. Um, yeah, it's, it's the kids' room. I really enjoy doing, though, because it's really bright colours. It's very... I wouldn't say stereotypical. It's quite fun, to be honest. I think it's... I like doing the dividers and stuff like that. Like a little chair and, like, all of their little accessories and toddler things. I think it's cute. Um, and also their toy chests are massive. Can I just like point that out? It's way too big and blaffy as well And you know the the light that scares off the horrible monsters at night, which they always cry about But to the end of the build now. I've basically just talked about my life for like five minutes. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!